all right guys we got a very special game here today it's going to be Shao Shuai spawning up here in the top right hand corner the purple zerg and down in the bottom right it's going to be zealot he is playing on an alternate here a barcode account but it is the man himself the most aggressive zerg player in the world going up against our chinese pro player xiao shuai um sometimes it, it, I, I don't know what it is it kind of triggers me a little bit when people s pronounce it wrong but um that is indeed the pronunciation xiao shuai uh, it actually means small handsome so a small handsome player is going to be popping an overlord here overlord on the way for zealot as well he's gonna grab a spawning pool and gas immediately afterwards where xiao shui is gonna go for a hatchery here now this is um a little bit of a rarity on this ANSC channel, uh, watching a Zerg versus Zerg, but I am, in fact, a ZVZ enjoyer. I do occasionally like to watch me some ZVZ, play a lot of it on ladder, and it's cool to get some, uh, some insight into how the pro players are doing it. Um, but it can be a kind of a crazy matchup. It can be a wild, um shit show at times so i'm not really a zvz enjoyer in that i like to watch every single zvz but the zvz's that are really good are really fun to watch is what i'll say um very difficult matchup to play every single unit in this matchup is incredibly important it's basically only going to be three different units being made zerglings mutilus and scourge and that is it i've heard some suggestions about different ways that uh they could possibly balance this matchup out a little bit better and make it so that it's possible to use other units um one thing that i heard from artosis he said that it would be cool if they changed the spore colony to deal extra damage to biological which wouldn't change any of the other matchups but it would allow uh, zerg players to build those sunken or spore colonies and actually defend properly against mutilus and then possibly go on to longer more um interesting games we've got the spire on the way here for zealot he's going to be the aggressor here he's built quite a lot of links coming across the map now and there's been five drones pulled here from Xiao Shui, so he's going to try and hold on here with his earlier hatchery. He should have a lot more units. He's actually not building anything out of this uh, hatchery here at the front right now. He really should be popping out more links at this point. Looks like one drone going to go down. So a kill here by a few running by links. Oh, another drone here at the natural. Two more. Three more at the natural. Looks like no more went down here in the main. And a good surround there from Xiao Shui. But that is painful. Dropping down to just six workers. However, Xiao Shui has more links of his own. And speed just finished. So maybe he can get across the map here and deal some damage. There is a sunken colony on the way. So Zealot totally aware of the position he's in he's added on that sunken it does bring him down to just eight workers so eight to eight we've got the links coming in here kind of a conga line of links though from xiao shui he will win this fight but the sunken colony's bought enough time for that to finish up and it shouldn't be too much more damage coming through here he gets a good surround on the sunken colony but great micro from zealot gonna dive on top of these links actually they do finish that sunken We'll back away for now. Xiao Shui actually adding on more drones here. Getting droned up. Got two lings inside the main. No uh, Evo Chamber as of yet. And we've already got Mutas on the way. So the Evo Chamber just now starting. This is very, very scary. If he sends one Muta across the map, he could start to deal some significant damage to the drones. Looks like building a new sunken colony for that um, for that defense here. More and more uh, links coming across the map. Xiao Shui understanding the position he's in. He has to buy time here. He has to force these mutilists to stay home. 
Uh, otherwise, he could be in a whole lot of trouble. Gonna get caught by some of Zealot's Mutalis and track down here. But Link's coming from the other side. Looks like he's pulling back now, bringing them around once again. Perhaps looking for a way in here. Gonna turn one Link and run into the main. Of course, the Sunken Colony should be able to take care of that before any sort of damage comes down. But this is buying so much time for Xiao Shuai. He's back up to nine drones and he's got Sunken... Uh, or he's got spores in his main. That spore is not quite finished yet. Looks like it's on the way now. There's this spore coming up as well. And he's still doing a good job of preventing Zealot from uh, moving across the map with his mutas. And fly in once again. Oh god. Lings get completely caught here. And this is a bad moment for Xiao Shuai, who really... The threat of Lings on the map was the only thing really keeping... Zealot off his back. Now Zealot's going to come up here and really start to put on the pressure. How many Sunkins are done in Xiao Shuai's main and natural? How many spores are ready here? Looks like another spore coming up. Um, but for now, I'm going to get some damage here on these drones. Drone's going to be taking off here. Running back, only one drone killed so far, and another Sunkin is complete. So now with two Sunkins or two spores at each base. He should be relatively safe. He doesn't have a whole lot of lings, but we've only got one hatchery building right now. And with only one hatchery, you can basically just continuously make um, Mutilus off of that. And eventually you will have enough money for another hatchery. Uh, as long as you've got, oh, he's only got nine drones total. So six on the mineral patches, whereas Shao has gone up to 15. He really needs to throw down his, um, his spire here though shortly how many mutas do we have now oh my god he's just gonna go for it both of these spores are hitting right now okay he backs away just far enough for one spore to stop shooting goes up to six now six mutilus he lost one to kill a spore pretty aggressive crazy play here out of zealot just so wild going straight in on the spores once again I didn't know that you could break a spore colony with only four muta or, or with only five mutas. That seems a little bit crazy. And uh, this is what we were talking about before with the balancing of this matchup. It's possible. It would be possible if you added on more damage to the spore colony. Look at how many drones he can kill and get away with it as well. Two mutalists are left, but all the drones were killed. We had 15 drones now, just down to six. Spore colonies have been rebuilt here. Two additional. We've got a few drones over here, but it's 7 to 11. And not looking good at all. Looks like blocking this drone from getting a hatch replaced for a little bit. That's a nice move there. Finally did get the minerals necessary for another base to come up, but... Um... Looks like Xiao Shuai still not throwing down his uh, his spire here. That's a little bit crazy. Where is the spire? When is it going to come down? He needs one right now. How many mutas do we have on the field? Another four mutas. Five mutas. So he actually could break a spore. As a matter of fact, he could go after one of these spores here. Instead, going for some drones. Five mutas sufficient to kill a drone in a single shot. And he gets two. Forces Xiao Shuai to move his move towards his main base that was a pretty risky maneuver dry, running your drones to the middle here if the mutas came up they could have killed a lot but the overlords are moving oh my god he's got a bad rally bad rally here Zhao Zhuai gonna lose two overlords oh this is so painful so so painful man you just lost 200 minerals worth of a very precious resource that is supply he cannot afford to be building those two overlords again he's stuck at 18 supply here he will have to build an overlord in a moment he's got the spire on the way but his drone count is so incredibly low even zealot having more drones at this point on one base finally gonna pop out some more drones here and get to work on this natural only two two spores here he should have realized now that two spores not gonna be enough to deter zealot hasn't added on a third one yet though and zealot getting ready here in the natural or in the main excuse me gonna dive on another one of these spores and there you go he's going for it meanwhile over here at zealot's 
natural base. Xiao Shuai with the Lings just gonna run straight in here. Kill this hatchery, it looks like. One spore is down. Second spore is gonna begin to fall, but the uh, Scourge are being produced here. Can Xiao Shuai hold on to his Spire? That's a lot of Mutalis left over. It's amazing what Mutalis can do. I don't think he even has an upgrade. No, no upgrade on these. And he was still able to take out both of those Spore colonies. Coming into the main now. Could he get this Spire? Killing the Spire would be massive. It's like some Scourge chasing down these Mutas. The Spire is getting low, but only... 200 HP left, it does manage to survive, and look at this, so many Scourge popping out here, trying to chase down these Mutas, but does get a couple of connections, just not enough, it seems. Six Mutas are left, and the Spire is exposed. He's gonna go after it and finish off this game. Xiao Shuai with no more options here, except building more Spore Colonies. I think he's about to tap out here. Although there's no second base, he's going to throw down another hatchery and uh, continue producing those mutas, just constantly harassing everything that pops out here. You should be able to kill this spire momentarily. GG is called. Xiao Shui taps out and Zella takes that one away. Wow. Crazy, crazy aggressive. I really didn't know that you could just take on a spore like that. You rarely ever see that. Zerg player who's gone one base, just build up to five Muta and then just kill the Spore. You know, usually there's two Spores there. It's like, okay, that's that's enough. I need like 12 Mutas to break that. But little did I know, five is enough. Crazy. Really, really insane. Um, a good, uh, good game there for Xiao Shui as well. I mean, he did put on that pressure with the Lings. He constantly backstabbed and got damage on zealot making that quite an interesting game pretty low apm here from zealot maybe he was just chilling relaxed playing on one base is not very difficult um just micring a few mutas and then just building uh more mutas it's uh it's pretty simple but still i'm surprised to see his apm that low anyway anyways guys that's gonna be it for today hope you enjoyed this video if you did Make sure to subscribe because there's more coming out every single day. I'll see you guys in the next one.